Isle of Palms police say an 18 year old Somerville High School student shot five people on the beach back in April during what was known as Senior Skip Day. Ray Arena is now joining us outside of the city's public safety building. Ray, police say Davion Singleton allegedly drove to the beach in a stolen car before those shots were fired. Rough and before shots were fired on April 7th, police say Singleton had no prior criminal history. Now he's facing multiple felonies, including five attempted murder charges. Now police say Singleton is the fifth and latest person to be arrested in connection to the shooting. In all, four adults and one child face charges. Police say there were several disputes on the beach that April day. An exact motive for Singleton allegedly firing a 9 millimeter Glock handgun and injuring five people remains unclear. Investigators say that handgun was not stolen and could not say if the disputes were gang related. Chief Kevin Cornett thanked federal, state, and local investigators for helping them identify the accused shooter. He also thanked the people on the beach for the videos they sent in. We could not have done it without information and videos that were sent in from people who were out on the beach or people who were watching the beach uh, or had those videos on their phones. They sent those in to us and that was all very critical and very helpful in our investigation and all of that played a major role in helping us to positively identify uh, Davion Singleton as the shooter and to make those charges with him. Police say their investigation into the beach shooting still remains active and ongoing. And at last check, Singleton remains behind bars at the Charleston County Detention Center. Live on the Isle of Palms, Ray Urena, Live 5 News. All right, Ray, thank you. Now, in a statement, a Dorchester District 2 spokesperson confirmed Singleton was a Somerville High School graduate in 2023. They also say the district does not recognize Senior Skip Day. Additionally, this off-campus incident happened well beyond the end of the school day. We were not made aware of Mr. Singleton's alleged involvement until today through media reports. 